Well, a good Sunday morning to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome everyone to my home in the sticks. And I hope everybody's having a good weekend. And more importantly, even better Sunday. But over here in East Central Mississippi, I'm here to tell you. It's a little chilly in the 50s right now, but it's showing sure up nice. Sun's out. Before we get started on today's video, I'm always going to say that if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you're returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, I sure enough thank you for coming back. Well, what I want to share with you and y'all today, Lord of mercy, it's been one year since I've been using my Black & Decker portable washing machine, and folks been like, Dan, are you going to do a one-year review on it? Yes, I am. But give me a second. We finna walk off in this shop, and I'm finna show you. Well, there it is, hooked up and washing right now. And again, this is the 0 0.9 cubic inch Black & Decker portable washing machine. And I think I got, I don't know, five or six shirts in there, some boxes and some socks, but it's showing off getting this wash on. So about a year ago, a little over a year ago, I purchased this Black & Decker portable washing machine. This is the 0 0.9 cubic inch washer off of Amazon. And I wanted to run this thing for a whole year uh, before I did a show enough, show enough review on it. To be honest with you, I have nothing bad to say about this washing machine. It has been doing a phenomenal job for me over here at the Home in the Sticks, just washing my, my work clothes and shorts and things of that nature. And it's been doing a really good job. I've had quite a few comments uh, concerning this washer. Folks ha have had some uh, bad experiences with it, some good experiences with it. It's just going to be a combination of both. It's just, it is what it is. Sometimes it works really good for somebody and not for the other person. The latest comment that I got uh, or question that I got on this washing machine had to do with the water hookup. And here is the water hookup. Uh, the person that asked the question, evidently, uh, when they went to charge this hose up with water, this thing flew off or backfed into the faucet itself. What I can tell you is, and what I know is, this is a kind of like a compression fitting or a lock fitting that actually locks on to the washing machine, so to, that locks on to the faucet. So you need to make sure that this thing is up against your faucet and this ring is locked. I'm not going to push it down because water is just going to squirt all over the place. But that has to be locked onto your faucet uh, in order to uh, fill your washing machine with water. Uh, mine's kind of like in a standby mode. We've got 36 minutes left to go on it. But yeah, got to have that in place in order to fill the drum up with water. Get a lot of questions about, Dan, can you manually add water into this washing machine? I'm sure you can, but it is designed to be fed with water, uh, a water source. Yeah, I guess you could. I've had a few people ask me, Dan, can you manually put water in this machine and do a video on it? Uh, no, uh, I think I'm just going to run with it the way that I have it. And the reason why I say that is I don't know how much water to put in this washing machine. I'm sure there are some sensors in this washing machine that dictate how much water goes into the drum. And when I say that is, oh, I'm glad I said that. See, it's refilling itself with water because the drum of the machine figured out, oh, I need some more water to wash these clothes. That's, that was weird. That was right on time. There we go. Now it added water. Now it's washing again. So I guess if you uh, have electricity but no access to water, I guess you could. Me, uh, no, this is the exact way that I run it. Uh, another question that pops up quite often, and this is kind of like a review and a Q&A, I guess, but another question that pops up real often is, Dan, can I use this type of washing machine in my apartment? I have the water hookups and the drain for a washer. Yes, you can. Uh, this thing operates just like a regular washing machine, but smaller. If you have a way to put water into the machine, and a way to drain out the water from the machine, yeah, it'll work. And most uh, apartments, I guess, uh, actually have a hot and a cold uh, faucet 
a tap for a wash machine and a discharge line where all of the water that comes out of the machine gets drained off into that discharge line. So yes, if you have both of those things, all three of those things, or two actually, coal and a discharge line, yeah, you can use it in an apartment. I don't see any reason why you couldn't. Now, back to the review. Overall, what do you give it, Dan, uh, out of 10? I'm gonna give it a 10 because I've had zero problems with my washer, none whatsoever. And I have used the FAR out of this washing machine. I wash uh, clothes three loads a week sometimes, sometimes two, just depending on what I'm doing, how dirty I get, how many times I change clothes. But I have used this washer, and I can honestly say it is worth every penny that I paid for it. Now, my disclaimer, am I being sponsored by Black & Decker? Heck to the no, I'm not. It's just a product that I bought uh, off of Amazon, read uh, hundreds of reviews on it, and I gave it a shot, and guess what? It worked out really, really good for me. So, if you are in the market to buy a small portable washing machine, and I'm gonna say if you're a single person, maybe a couple, or if you just wanna have a spare washing machine to do uh, some folks a ticket. They don't like washing certain things in their big washing machine, like oily clothes or something like that. Yeah, this will work perfectly for you. Uh, myself, uh, you and y'all, you and y'all know exactly what, how I load this washing machine up because I've shown everybody what I could actually wash in it with no problems. Now, on the other hand, we just got to use a little bit of common sense. It's a 0.9 cubic inch washer. Can you wash a king size or a queen size uh, comforter in this thing? Probably not. You'll probably tear something up, to be honest with you. Now, will it wash a twin size or a full size sheet, a comforter? Yeah, it probably could. I've washed uh, full size sheets in it uh, with no problems uh, whatsoever. So, we just got to use a little bit of common sense uh, when it comes to washing things in a washer this small. Can you pack it completely full with clothes and, and try to wash something? Yeah, you could, but you're probably going to tear something up. So if you have a lot of clothes that you need to wash, do it in batches, little bitty small batches. And I guarantee you, this thing right here will work out really good for you. Get my wash on right now. I'm multitasking today. I got uh, lunch that I'm fitting to put on the grill. And you know what I'm fitting to do. Oh yeah. So that's what I wanted to share with you and y'all today. A show enough, honest review on the Black & Decker portable washing machine. I give it uh, two thumbs up, but I can only give you one because my other one's holding the camera. But show enough is a nice piece of equipment for somebody uh, that may be in college that wants to wash their clothes, maybe a couple, or just to have a small, uh, versatile portable washing machine works like a charm so again I hope everybody's having a show enough good Sunday and I hope everybody stays safe today amid this crisis that we still have going on if you uh, like this video go and give it a thumbs up they help if you haven't subscribed to the home and sticks channel Lord of mercy y'all need to come on over here give old Dan a look because I'm always doing stuff like one year reviews that being said you know it's coming Dan reference show enough always gonna say it don't let nobody dull your shine. And I mean nobody. You show sure enough, get your shine on. It's important. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.